Hi and welcome to Foolishness Reviews, a channel where we talk about all things beauty which includes makeup, skincare and sometimes hair care. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post, which is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Today I'm reviewing the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's their original lip sleeping mask, it's not the full size, it's um... It's a trial, travel size, whatever, that I got in my birthday gift from Sephora. So keep watching to see some product info, some application tips, and then the review, or jump straight to the review at this time. Even though this product is much older, um, I think it's one of their first products that they launched with, as far as I, as far as I know. Um, I've tried their newest lip balm before this, so this is basically my second product that I ever tried from Laneige. And I got this because uh, it was a birthday gift from Sephora. So I have this and then their sleeping mask, the water sleeping mask, and then uh, a water bank cream all in trial sizes. I believe Laneige is the first brand to uh, kind of promote lip sleeping masks. Um, prior to this uh, brand, I have never, I had never heard of lip sleeping masks. Um, and stuff like that and, and I feel they're most famous for their sleeping masks anyway so let's get some info on this mask and see what it claims to do for us this is a leave-on lip mask that is supposed to soothe and moisturize their lips for more smoother and supple lips overnight a generous layer of this uh, product on the lips helps reduce flakiness so you can wake up to soft refreshed and supple lips it boasts um, an exclusive moisture wrap technology that has hyaluronic acid and minerals to form a protective layer over your lips that locks in active ingredients and moisture. It also has vitamin C and berry complex um, for that scent and flavor. So this sounded like a good mask to use for anybody who has flaky lips. I have a lot of flakiness on my lips and that's something that I struggle with and only certain kinds of uh, lip balms and lip masks work for me so did this one work for me we'll get to that but before we do that let's look at some application tips i've been using this for around like two weeks or a little over two weeks and i use it every day on uh in my nighttime routine and that this is the last thing that i would use this is how it looks Now the full size comes with an applicator, but since this isn't the full size and there is no applicator in here, I'm just going to use my fingers to take this kind of an amount and apply it directly to the lips. But also apply it to the outside of my lips a little because that's where I get the most dry. And I leave it overnight for the product to work, for the ingredients to work their magic or whatever. And basically that is how I like to use it. Um, if with the full size, there's an applicator so you can use that to uh, apply, which is a lot more convenient. But we're going to go more into that in the review part of this video, so keep watching. And now that we have the product info and application tips out of the way, we can get in with the review part of this video. And I'm going to start it off with my likes first. Number one is ingredients. It has Muru Muru and Shea Butter. So those give it a nice slip and then also so moisture to your lips. Number two, it comes with an applicator which I absolutely love. It just adds so much more value to the product and especially since it's formulated in a jar, it's kind of inconvenient to use your fingers with it and then you have sticky fingers. Number three, I love that this product is super soft in the jar. A lot of lip masks, a lot of lip balms are kind of stiffy in the jar so it takes a bit more effort for you to take out the product either with your fingers or the applicator. You just have to dig in and exert a bit more pressure than usual but this picks up so beautifully so beautifully it's so soft and it's so nice and that brings me to the next point that it is super spreadable since it's that soft and has those butters and that slip to it it just glides on so smoothly whether you're using your fingers whether you're using your an applicator it is super easy to spread onto the lips like like the 
like a very silky lipstick or something like that. Number five, less is more with this product. Even though it is just to use a thick layer or a good generous layer um, of product onto the lips to coat the lips evenly and uh, so that it's working properly and forming a protective layer over your lips, I feel like a small amount is enough to create that generous layer. For that, you don't need to keep digging in and in and going back in with this lip balm uh, or lip mask and then keep applying it. It just means that you need a smaller amount than what you what you than what you would expect. So I absolutely appreciate that because that way you're gonna ensure that your product is lasting you a long time and this is a very small amount of product like i guess you can see it from like this it's just it's this it's this big inside the packaging makes it look make it look this big but it's actually this big and it's such a tiny tiny jar it's still lasting me a long time so i wouldn't recommend against getting a, a trial size for your lip masks because in the end it is lasting you a long time number six it's not sticky stickiness is something that i absolutely hate in lip balms lip masks and lip glosses i do not want that sticky feeling i want a gloss or a shine or um conditioning on my lips but i don't want the stickiness on my lips i don't want my lips to f be like if i'm uh, putting my lips together. I don't want that to you know for that goopiness to be pulling each other So it's not so you know your hair is not gonna stick to it Your like you know stuff is not gonna stick onto your lips It's not gonna feel like if if you know it's like honey or fly trap that anything is going to stick on it It's absolutely beautiful and very very soft and not sticky at all number seven it stays on throughout the night um some of the things that I don't like about other lip balms is that they tend to lose their wear within like maybe hours or something um, and this doesn't do that. Obviously if you're eating um, while having this on then it, it is going to come off because it is a glossy kind of product and it has that slip to it so obviously it is going to come off. But if you're putting this on and then you're going to sleep it's not going to transfer onto your pillow or you know get lost in something. It's, it's, it is going to keep protecting your lips and having that protective layer on your lips. Number eight is the results. I absolutely love that my lips are very very soft afterwards but that is it as far as my likes go and let's talk about my dislikes now. Number one is the scent. Like any Laneige product, especially the lip products, I feel are very very heavily scented. That was what That is what kind of um, turned me off from their lip uh, treatment balm thing as well because it was very much uh, strongly scented of like bubblegum scent and this is very strongly scented with berries kind of scent which is something that you can smell right after you open the jar and you take a little whiff and it's like very very strong but I have to say that this smell kind of goes away when you put it on um, that's not the case with their lip treatment balm but that's how it is with their lip masks but I know that there are a lot of people who do not like scents or fragrances in their skincare and if you are one of them then Laneige is probably not you know the part of the the brand for you because they do have a lot of fragrances uh, I'm not saying they're always overwhelming but they're always fragranced products Number two is a heavy weight. This leaves, like although this has a really nice layer and I'm using a little bit and it's covering a lot and all of that, it is leaving a heaviness on my lips, a feeling of heaviness on my lips basically. So it just feels like I have something very thick, uh, so like petroleum jelly or something on my lips and it's just... It's just wearing them down basically. I want to feel like there's barely anything on my lips. You know, that's how I want my lip balms or us lip sleeping masks to be. Which is how my favorite lip balm is. Number three, there is no exfoliant in this product. So, exfoliants, I prefer exfoliants in my lip balms. Why? Because my lips are very, very flaky. So those exfoliants helps ensure that it those flakiness doesn't come back. Uh, obviously you have to keep using it consistently but it makes sure that it doesn't go like go flaky again during the rest of the day when I don't have it on but when I'm using this since it has no exfoliants as far as I can tell it's not doing that for me um, what it's doing for me is keeping my lips soft at the for the time being and a little while after I have it off but for the rest of the day when I don't have this on 
my lips can go back to being dry and flaky. So I don't think that this is that good of a sleeping mask because a sleeping mask should do stuff that is more long term in my opinion which is why I suggest that if you are into Laneige then check, check out their lip treatment balm because that has exfoliants in it and it is going to benefit your lips in the long run if you keep using it consistently of course and the next point is I didn't see the results that I that the description says that there would be um, so if you if you check out the description on their website they're gonna mention that after you have this on your lips overnight you uh, in the morning you're gonna see like flakiness collected out at the top of the balm and what you have to do is take like a damp washcloth or something and then just kind of rub it off so that flakiness is kind of getting exfoliated um, physically exfoliated not chemically obviously but but chemical exfoliation is what I prefer um, but I didn't see any of that happening here I didn't see any flakiness getting collected and me having to scrape them off with a damp washcloth or anything it just felt like any other lip balm or lip mask would feel like there was nothing that I felt was okay that's really helping my flakiness not really it isn't um, it's just keeping them soft like my lips soft but is it really getting rid of all of my flakiness no it isn't to be honest it isn't um, and if I don't use it always throughout the day as well it's not going to keep my lips soft you know what i mean so it's not giving me long-term results at all but that is it as far as my likes and dislikes go the full size can be found on sephora for 22 dollars um i don't think i mean even though the price is okay for the lip balm and everything but for me I don't think I'm going to repurchase it or re reuse it again um, after this is finished um, because I don't find it that beneficial in the long run. I mean, it's okay, like, you know, for during the day or whatever, but for the long run or the long-term results from this, I don't think so. Um, I got better results from the Laneige lip treatment, again, because it has ex those exfoliants. So what I would suggest is either check that out or my personal favorite is... Um, Sugar Rush Best Bud uh, Lip Butter Balm. That's like $12. So that's super cheap than what the Laneige products are, but it is very effective as well. I absolutely love that, so check that out. You can find that on Ulta Beauty. Uh, but Laneige Lip Treatment Balm is also a good alternative. I just don't prefer it because of the scent, but otherwise, it's really good. It also has an applicator, so I really, really like, love that. I personally rec recommend this if you want a, a long-term result in your lips. This is not probably what I would recommend, but if you don't care about those uh, like long-term results or having exfoliants in your lip care, then this is a good lip balm, a good lip sleeping mask. So for those people, I would definitely suggest. I would also say that the the trial size comes with enough product for you to last like at least a couple months because I've been using this for like two to three weeks and I still have so much left. Like I still have a lot left. So my suggestion would be to check out the trial size if you cannot afford the full size. Trial size is, I think, good enough because it's going to last you a couple months. That's just my opinion. And now let's talk about my rating breakdown. And first of all is performance. I'm going to give it a 0.75 because it does make my lips softer, but it doesn't do anything long term for them. Number two is price. I'm going to give it a 0.75 on that as well because it is a good product and the price is also okay for it. But I don't think it's fully worth the price because it lacks the exfoliants that I want. Number three is longevity and convenience. I'm going to give it a whole point on that because it has an applicator, the full size and it is super soft and super spreadable and it's very uh, long lasting as well because a very little product goes a long way with this. Third recommendation and repurchase, I'm going to give it a 0.25 on that because I explained myself so I'm not going to explain it again. Uh, and then there are special features, I'm going to give it a 0.75 because I didn't see the things that, there's, that they claimed uh, I would see, like the flakiness collected on um, the top of the mask and then I have to like rinse it off and stuff. I didn't see that. Um, I don't see any long-term uh, effects on my flakiness, but 
overall are my lips soft yes they are um, they come in a lot of variety of different uh, scents and flavors or whatever you want to call them so if you have a preference check them out um, so that brings my total Felicia score to 3.5 out of 8 5 so it is definitely a good one is it for me probably not it might be something that you would like if you've tried this before let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this also let me know what your favorite product from Laneige is so I can try it too um, there are going to be a lot of other Laneige product uh, reviews in the coming weeks because I got a, that you know the gift thing so there are a couple more products that I need to review so I'll check them out let me know what you like to do for your lips and your flakiness and your dryness of your lips do you prefer having exfoliants in your lip care or not uh, but that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to review the Ola Hendrickson um, cold plunge moisturizer or hang back and watch one of my older videos